Over the last 20 years, there have been incredible advancements in facial feminization surgery, and I'm very pleased to say that perhaps the majority of these advancements have come from our work at the Spiegel Center. Facial feminization surgery is an approach to considering how the face looks and considering what will make a face appear feminine, youthful, and attractive, and consistent with a person's self-image. There are a number of procedures that go into this. Simple ones include removing or reducing the Adam's apple, and the standard approach to that is one that we designed and published well over a decade ago. Reducing the jaw is another approach, and we've innovated doing this in a way that is through the inside of the mouth, protects the nerve, and minimizes the use of any metal implants. Reintroduction of lip lift surgery is another thing that we're very proud of here at the Spiegel Center. This is an operation that was being hardly done in the United States or anywhere in the world before we started speaking and explaining how lifting the lip and creating a lot of tooth show and brightness around the mouth is very attractive, youthful, and feminine. Rhinoplasty is an important part of facial feminization surgery and it must be done in a way that reduces the shape of the nose from a large nose to a small nose and reduces any external deformities. You want a feminine nose to be very delicate and balanced with the face. Perhaps the most well-known and significant part of facial feminization surgery is the forehead surgery. Adjusting the glabella ridge, getting your eyebrows to the right shape, opening up the eye sockets. These are all procedures that we've revolutionized the approach to and we can get consistently safe results in a minimum of time and we can assure you you'll get the most dramatic and yet natural result possible in the safest way using our tested techniques.